Right, so if you compare the proposed abortion on demand bill with that of the UK and Wales one, you'll find that the mental health clause wording is very similar. And in the UK, 98% of abortions are under that clause. So this is by far anything but limited. In fact, it's abortion on demand. And so this referendum is about abortion on demand. It's whether we want to introduce abortion on demand in Gibraltar. This referendum is essentially a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the people of Gibraltar to pave the way in making Gibraltar truly a trial-friendly city by choosing life. You're opposing this law, but would the pro-life movement consider any change to Gibraltar's abortion laws? Well, what we did was we opposed this proposed law because it was abortion on demand. Um, so much so that we collected 6,000 signatures who, of, people, of local people who supported the right to life of the unborn. So what we can say for definite is that the people of Gibraltar, at least there's a strong sentiment that they do not want abortion on demand. And any other proposed abortion law would, would have to be obviously considered at that time. In your statement, you say the pro-life campaign is responsible for this referendum coming about. However, the Chief Minister has said this is down to a margin of appreciation and limited discretion on the part of the government. As you know, we did um, lobby against the proposed on-demand abortion bill and we did present that 6,000 signature petition. And I think undoubtedly any government would see that as one of the factors as to propose, it, um, to propose the law to a, a referendum as opposed to just forcing it through. The Chief Minister has said he will campaign personally for the bill. Among the reasons that he gave was the fact that in Gibraltar law, a woman who is raped can currently legally face a higher penalty than her attacker. What is your response to his supporting this bill and to the reasons he's given for this? Well, I would say that everyone's obviously entitled to their, to their own opinion. I appreciate that the party is the GSLP uh, Liberal Alliance is not taking a stance because it, it, abortion is already a very divisive topic and I appreciate that I wouldn't want it to be mixed up in party politics. Um, however, what I would say is that when we speak to the people in our, in our community, when they find out that the 12-week um, baby in the womb has a heartbeat, has hands, has feet, moves like you, know, like you and me, is like one of us, they choose life. When they find out that actually this, kind of, uh, this proposed abortion bill is effectively abortion on demand, they choose life. And when they find out that one in this kind of law leads to one in five of us being aborted, that's 80 members of your school year, my school year, they choose life. GPC's opinion poll found a majority in favour of legalising abortion in particularly traumatic cases, namely those of rape and incest. Isn't there a nuance of opinion even among people who might lean pro-life? Right, yeah, so if you look at that opinion poll, you'll see that only 9% of those that responded are in favour of abortion on demand. So this proposed bill is not it. This referendum is on whether we want to introduce abortion on demand or not. And so I firmly believe that this referendum is a once in a lifetime opportunity for the people of Gibraltar to make Gibraltar a child friendly city by choosing life. So do you not see this bill as a compromise of any sort uh, between the pro-life and pro-choice movements? No, because it's abortion on demand. Um, in terms of this referendum, one of the things the Chief Minister has said that is that it, yeah, they're going to consider whether or not to open it up to 16 or 17 year olds, uh, basically people who are past the, the age of consent, yeah. to be able to vote. Uh, does the pro-life movement have a stance on this as of yet? Um, to be honest, it changes nothing for us because uh, we will continue to educate all members of our community, including those who can vote or can vote, so including the, the young people, on the reality of abortion, on the fact that this abortion bill is abortion on demand, on the fact that a 12-week pre-born baby is like one of us, is alive like one of us. And so it doesn't really change anything. And more importantly, our work on our Kelling programs will not be affected by this. Um, we help local families um, in... In any, in any sort of need. If, if we can help them, we'll help them. If not, we'll put them in contact with someone that can. And whether they can vote or not vote will not change us. So we're still going to help our teen, uh, the teen families that need us and we'll help any family, any teen mother who needs us in the future, or teen parent for that matter.